So a couple of days ago, I posted a video on Instagram. The video was showing this project and um, it got a lot of attention. A lot of people wanted me to uh, do a tutorial to kind of show how you can build uh, one for yourself. Um, and that's exactly what I plan to do today. So this project that I've, I think I've chosen to call it on GitHub um, Pixel Painter. No, that's another project. Never mind. Um, is it Matrix Painter? What this product is, is that it's five uh, eight by eight LED matrices. Um, they are connected together and controlled by an Arduino Uno from either your computer um, using processing or even even from your phone you can draw uh, on this display without further ado uh, let's jump straight into it and uh, see how i built it i mean you can use any number of uh, matrices um, i guess there are some sort of upper limit but uh, i used five for this project you are going to need jumper cables each matrix is uh, connected with five male to female jumper cables a breadboard is great to kind of keep it all together and of course an Arduino Uno. few components to this project. One is obviously the uh, the Arduino and the hardware and then there are three uh, software parts. So first off we uh, of course we program the Arduino. The Arduino code all that does is basically listening on the uh, serial port or the USB cable uh, for commands and those commands can be clear the entire screen or uh, light or darken. Uh, or you can turn on or off uh, a specific pixel. And uh, the next software part uh, that went into this project is uh, a processing application. This application allows you as a user to draw um, on it. It's kind of like a pixel painting canvas. It's a fairly simple program um, and what it does is that whenever uh, you, the user, um, presses or, or drags over these uh, digital pixels, 
um, it will send a command over to the Arduino. So either turning on or off a particular LED. I showed this project on Instagram uh, and one thing that people uh, suggested was to add a um, was to add the possibility to draw uh, these pixels on a phone rather than on the computer. You can solve that thing in a number of different ways. Uh, you could have an Arduino with a Wi-Fi that is Wi-Fi compatible, um, something like a Node MCU or something, or you add a, a Bluetooth module uh, to the Arduino and you talk uh, Bluetooth uh, between the phone and the Arduino. But I'm kind of lazy, so I went with the easiest possible approach to this. So what I did was that I added a TCP server that is running on the uh, processing application. It listens on a TCP port uh, and whenever it detects some data on that uh, TCP port it will basically take that data and send it uh, over to the Arduino. There's not a lot of logic and uh, I managed to kind of add networking capabilities that were wireless capabilities in 10 lines of code. But of course, if you wanted to make this even more mobile, you'd probably go for uh, Bluetooth or uh, a Wi-Fi compatible Arduino board. Uh, but what kind of struck me is, is, is that the latency is so low because there's so little data that is transmitted from the phone and stuff. So I even opened up this port in my router. So I had a friend uh, talking to uh, the uh, LED matrices over internet, which was pretty cool, uh, with very low latency. The third and kind of last uh, software component in this project is obviously a tiny, super simple uh, iPhone app. I don't know if you're gonna get reflections here, but what that allows me to do is to draw on the uh, iPhone screen. The iPhone app is in turn uh, connected via uh, TCP to this uh, processing app and the processing app takes in the data from the, that the phone is sending and passes that data on to the Arduino. Um, the code for this project is available on GitHub. I'll put links to that down in the description and I'd love for you to contribute to the project, um, fix potential bugs that you find, add an Android app. I've had a lot of people asking me about Android compatibility and Make a, make a tutorial for Android. Uh, I'm not an Android developer, far from it. But if you can develop for Android, I would love for you to um, contribute to uh, this project in the open source on GitHub. He used uh, the iOS code as an inspiration, um, but then add then Android compatibility. That would be super cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did and you'd like to see more projects and tutorials and whatevs. Make sure you subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel and please follow me on Instagram where I'll post stuff like this. Uh, and if there are any projects that I post on Instagram that you'd like me to kind of do a more detailed tutorial of, uh, make sure to just reach out, uh, message me, um, poke me and let me know what I should be doing next. Um, thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.